Well, it, it all kind of started at game six in Boston. Vancouver had won two at home. Boston had won two at home. Vancouver won game five at home. They're back across the country in Boston. And for game six, and the Bruins just blow them out of the building. I mean, it's 4 nothing. They've pulled Luongo. The crowd's chanting, you know, what time is it? It's four past Luongo. You know, he's pulled from the game. And at that point, you realize there's a game seven, and it's just two days later. It was my partner, Jim Bombi, and I were there, and we were like, we, we're going to game seven. We drove home that night uh, from Boston, and the first thing we did was we booked our flights to Seattle. It was a beautiful day. Checked into our hotel. Um, went around town uh, just looking, you know, for a place to grab a beer and something to eat, and nobody would let us in. We had our Bruins jerseys on, and, I mean, we were just were not welcome anywhere, just booed out of establishments. We ended up getting into the building as soon as it opened. As the game progresses and it, the clock's ticking down and people around us all have these wristbands to get down into the locker room. And I remember saying to, to my business partner, Jim Bondi, I'm like, we got to find our way down there. Game ends, we make our way down to where their Vancouver bench is. And all the security personnel is, has gone down the tunnel with the Vancouver players. This is after the handshake and everything. Um, and so we just, I mean, I, I, I just jumped over the, I mean, literally, you could, you could literally just jump down like four feet onto the bench and went out onto the ice. This was right after Char was presented with a cup. And then Jim jumped down, but a security guard caught him and like brought him through and made him go back up into the stands, um, you know, which was unfortunate to him. But at this point, you know, I was, had been, I was out on the ice um, and just celebrating with uh, the families because they were all out there. Um, and then they, what happened was there was a lot of riots, uh, the cars were being overturned, things were being burned out in the streets, and Rogers Center security just jumped into action. And they basically wouldn't let anybody leave the building. So they corralled us in, essentially into the Bruins locker room where the celebration was going on. We just stood back. You know, I was there, I remember with Shane Knighty's wife, and he was one of the black aces, and we just stood there by Tim Thomas's locker and watched the celebration go on for must have been, you know, 90 minutes, all the guys uh, taking turns, drinking out of the cup, Chara's passing it around to everybody, and then they let everybody in the locker room have a turn. And that was incredible. I mean, uh, you know, we were in there just talking to those guys, and they were so appreciative that, you know, people had flown across the country to see the game, you know, that weren't friends and family. I mean, being a season ticket holder, to have that opportunity, and then you know, spend that kind of one-on-one -on -one time with the guys right after they won. It was, it was pretty surreal. You know, I got a chance, to, uh, you know, to hold the cup, actually to hoist it, because they wanted everybody, uh, you know, in the locker room to have that opportunity. Um, it was, uh, you know, it was a night that, you know, you're never going to, you never something you're never going to forget.